Well, hello, Soul Family. Beautiful rising good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our Daily Chakra Energy Reading, and today is Saturday, July 27th of 2024. So happy Saturday to all of you out there. I hope you're all doing so, so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, beautiful people. So I was tuning into the collective energy before. Before I started the video, you know, as usual, <sighs> and um, the message that I got was that to pay attention to things that are popping up in your head, things that are being brought up um, that maybe you thought that were gone, or maybe you started thinking about somebody you haven't thought about in a long time, and the thoughts have been been like overwhelming or you know whatever it is it could be like maybe there was a situation that you forgot about that you weren't thinking about or that you haven't thought about in a long time and all of a sudden it's coming up I feel that this is a lot happening right now for the collective because I feel that there's subconscious things that are still within us that we are being guided to release and so ah, as we are doing this it is helping to heal and expand our heart chakra so yeah and as you that this card came out so slow <laughs> but yeah so if you find yourself you know just thinking about random things or random people or whatever things that you haven't thought about in a long time and you thought that they were already released and let go of it's because they are it's like they were pushed really far down in our subconscious in like you know, the back part of the closet where you never look, where you put something like 14 years ago <laughs> and, and you're like, just for some reason, get into it. And all of a sudden you find it again and it's like, oh, wow, this is still there. Interesting. Um, and you get to look at it from a new point of view, from like the new version of yourself that you are, that you are no longer 14 years ago. Um, but that's how it feels, is that there are things that are coming up from our subconscious right now at this time because we are to a point where we can look at them objectively, consciously, you know, and release them and release them with love, release them with, you know, knowing and non-attachment. So if you've been noticing that within your own life or whatever lately, you're not alone because, yeah, your girl's been doing that too. So <laughs> anyways, all right. So our affirmation for this is, Super sumptuous Saturday is from the secondary chakras yin. That is our feminine energy, number 82. Check out the healing symbol. Ooh. Number 82. The healing forces of femininity flow to me freely and without obstacles. The healing forces of femininity flow to me freely and without obstacles. So 82 adds up to a 10 and a 10 is also a 1. And so it is like an ending and a beginning. So I feel, again, like with that subconscious energy, there is there are endings coming so that we can start new beginnings. So let's read this beautiful meaning. All right. The healing forces of femininity flow to me freely and without obstacles, meaning the basic nature of women is to be healers. They give life and nourish it until it is independent. 
Women were also the first shamans, and it is tradition in many cultures for a man to be initiated by a woman or by Mother Earth in order to become a true shaman. In our age, most women have forgotten their natural powers, but they are not lost. More and more women are attempting to reawaken these powers and use them for the healing of human beings and the entire world. Wonderful possibilities for establishing a deep contact to these forces are traditional sweat lodges, shamanic cave healing, and the Reiki distance contact with your inner woman. Trust your femininity and live it once again to bring healing into the world. Healing Stone Lapis Lazuli, Orange Calcite, Fragrance Essence Cardamom, and the box flower is Oak. So, ah, yes. So we are being guided to tune into our feminine energy. Whether if you are a man, you have feminine energy within you. You have the ability to be a healer. So when you, you know, step into your healing ability, you're stepping into your feminine aspect and your feminine energy. So, yeah, like it says, the, ba the basic nature of women is to be healers. That is the basic nature. And we have gotten so far away from that. And But there are those of us that, you know, are you know, that have been reawakening that part of us. So, yeah, the healing forces of femininity flow to me freely and without obstacles. We all have the ability to tune into this, you know, powerful energy so that we can help to heal the world because ultimately it just, it comes down to us. So this is our world and it's up to us to heal it. And I feel that this is a message for us to see that, remember it, and open ourselves to that. Open yourself to the shaman that is within you. What does it mean to be a healer to you? So, yeah, I love it. I love that so much. So, ah, amazing. All right, beautiful people, thank you so very much for stopping by the channel today to check in with our affirmation. I hope you all found something that resonates with you, and if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up. And whether or not you decide to subscribe to the channel is completely up to you. There is no pressure. <laughs> so, uh, But those of you who are subscribed, thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you all in the next one.